Hey everyone, for my second Each One Teach One project, I chose to research Jane Mayer. She was born in 1955 in New York City, and she attended two different types of secondary schools before she graduated and went to college. From there, she studied at Yale University, and she started kind of her um, journalistic career as the senior editor for the Yale Daily News. And then she went on and continued her studies at Oxford University. At the conclusion of her graduate program at Oxford, Mayer then began a career in Vermont where she wrote for two small newspapers. Um, and then in 1982, she actually joined the Wall Street Journal where she worked for 12 years. And during that time, she was the first woman to ever be named White House correspondent while also working as the senior editor and front page editor for the Wall Street Journal, which was really impressive and still is. So those accomplishments really set the stage for her. She became um, a war and a foreign correspondent, and she worked on topics such as the Persian Gulf War, the fall of the Berlin Wall, and so much more. So then aside from that, she actually became an author. So she moved from reporting to actually authoring books. And some of those books that are super well known are The Dark Side, and that one details the war of terrorism and Islamic radicalism and kind of she was a muckraker and she really broke down a lot of what was going on within the government and things that people did not know were happening, especially following 9-11. So she's done a lot of really good investigative journalism work that has contributed to today. And so now she actually contributes to The New Yorker and she covers politics, culture and national security. So she's continuing that investigative journalism approach. Um, and going on from her novels, she actually has received many awards and accolades, especially for the dark side. And overall, I just feel that her work is truly significant because she really is showing that muckraking is so important to this day and that people care. And she's able to work for some really um, well-established publications and continue that work. And that sets the stage for showing the public just what is going on within our country and then she's really an inspiration for journalists as ourselves going into the industry.